Well, welcome back to video five. And these are short little videos, just sharing techniques and how to work your vellum with the different inks, colors and everything else. But we're, this is the white, um, our white ink. This is the craft ink on being stamped out. Now it's dry, I'm going to share with you on embossing this particular flower. Um, a little bit different to the solid. This is what we call white work, okay? It's white ink, white, okay? So I'm going to bring the camera down and I'm using the very fine end on this. Now you cannot add any to the front. If you do, you're going to make your white ink turn gray. Okay, it's going to mark it. So you're working from the back and the back only. So I like to start from the bottom. So I'm gonna work with this one first and I'm gonna start where it's solid and I'm going to do some nice little flicks heading out towards that beautiful embossed inked area. Okay, so we're just going to do some nice little flicking. Also, make sure that you um, check. And this time I'm just coming up from the bottom up. On this one over here. And I'm just looking which way I want to do it from the center out or from the bottom up and I'm going to do it from the bottom up okay so we're going to come in and we're going to work from the bottom up so from the ink part up towards the next ink part but you're not going to go right to the top of the next ink line okay so we're just going to come from the bottom ink just little flicks up and just the shape of, keep following the shape of your petal. Yeah, so you can sort of see we've got, um, I'll put it on here. You're gonna have white work happening here. Okay, you're gonna have white work happening. You can't see much at the moment, but we'll, you will see it when you start moving <laughs> up the line. So we're going to keep coming in from that line and coming in and working it around the petals. The same with this one, we're going to be working it up in the line and then on this side we're going to start it coming from this side now it takes a little bit of time to work a flower Okay, so you, you will need to take your time and you will be going back over it a little bit to get the, the beautiful shape that you want and the solidness in where you want the solid part and then where you want it to also, where you want it to um, come into a thinner line. So you're sort of doing it thicker towards the bottom and then coming up and you're doing thinner, coming in thinner towards the line. But then that line you're gonna do thicker on the next one. When you're embossing the next one, it's gonna be thicker on that line because you can't go back over the front of this and do it. Okay, and you want it reasonably solid in different areas of the flower. So you're going to have to keep turning it over. 
just so that you can sort of see where you are going with your tool okay to make sure that you haven't gone too heavy haven't gone too light um it takes a little bit of practice so make sure you can do some solid pieces in here as well if you want to so you could do some solid pieces in here um so you can make this bit a solid bit so you're just going to work out where you want to do a solid piece where you want to do lines okay so it's going to take you a little while to work out your flower area and how it's going to look for you okay so if you want these bits solid you can do these all solid coming up here and then you sort of got that little pattern of solid coming up through here and then you might want to do a little bit lighter coming up from the petal here And you might want to do your flicks a lot closer as well. You don't have to do them um, far apart. You can do them very, very close if you want to. That's entirely up to you as well. It'll give you a completely different look. So these ones are sort of a long way apart. These ones are closer. So these ones over here are further apart. And that gives it a, a bit more of a messy look, but if you don't like that, then you need to come back over it and work your magic little flicks closer to get that solid piece where you want it. Okay, so you've got that nice solid piece, but you've still got this light piece in here because then we're going to come into this one and you're going to do that solid piece coming up here. Okay, so nice little solid pieces in here. Bringing those little flicks a lot, lot closer. So you can sort of see you've got a little bit of lightness in here you've got a solid piece in here your lines might want to change a little bit in here you might want to change this a little bit you might want to just come over and very lightly shade the whole back of that just so it looks a little bit different it'll give it a different look so there's lots of little techniques for sharing through here have a little practice on one like this, have a little practice and you can, now this is just a practice one. Okay, this one we're not using. This one's just showing you, you can do all these different ways of coloring. Now let's go back to our solid one and we'll do a couple of solid ones at the top. And you can have a look at this. So we're just doing little circular motions again. So you might want to do some solid ones up the top and some little strokes down the bottom. It's entirely up to you. Everyone sees their flowers differently. So um, there's no right or wrong. It's just how you see your flower. So you can sort of see now this has been done solid, no lines. So you might like to come over your lines and just do a bit of a circular motion to get a little bit of solidness happening in there so that it takes away a bit of the, the line effect if that's if the lines are too heavy so be careful with your lines okay you can come back and work over it and smooth a little bit of them out if you want to okay so you can come back and smooth that out you can sort of see that smoothing it out it makes it a little bit different so you can come back and smooth those little points out 
okay it'll give you a different effect by doing that little lines first though okay it will make a, a very difference to your embossing and this one I think I might do it a bit more solid because I did up top and the bottom on that one so you can sort of see by doing the flicks it's sort of taking it to that angle okay and the same over here it's brought it over to this sort of way and up so you can sort of see that you get the different effects by doing the little close flicks and then come back over and you can then do that nice little bit of solid now this one i'm just going to do solid from the top down so little circular motions coming down i'm not going to go right to the bottom i'm going to leave a bit of a gap and i'm going to do it harder towards the top and then come down with the pressure a little bit lighter towards going towards the line so my pressure is harder towards the line at the top but as I come down, I'm going to go lighter. And you can sort of see that it's um, put it on here. Sorry, you can sort of see you get the whiter and then a grayer look. Okay, so you, you've got your flicking happening in there. You've got all your different things happening. So once again, you might wanna do your little flicks on here. But this time you might want to do it and try it with your bigger tool. It will give you a different effect again. Okay, it will give it a completely different effect on that. So this one's doing the lines here with the bigger tool. So you can sort of see this one's the little tool. You've got tiny little ends coming up where this one um it's a lot a lot flatter okay where this one's got little lines this one's a lot flatter with the thicker tool but that's okay just keep having a little play with it and seeing which way you want this to go okay so we're going to come down from the top now we're going to come down from the top and i'm just going to do my little lines but very close together from the top down on this particular one here and softer towards this second line so harder towards the top and softer towards the bottom so a little bit more pressure and then lift your hand up so you're not doing quite as much pressure with your tool lift your tool up so it's not coming down as hard okay so the same with this one we're doing little lines and just lift it up so it's not going quite as hard down the bottom but harder up here towards the top you can turn it over and you sort of see you get this beautiful white work happening here. Now, the good thing about it is you're working the vellum and you're stretching it. Okay, so you're stretching it. And the good thing about this is that when you cut it, you'll be able to stretch it a little bit more. So we're just going to work in here. Now, we've done a few different techniques and it's just either circular motions or little strokes. Some people like to work more with the thicker one and some people like to work more with the thinner one and look, that's a choice. So have a little play. So you've got our white work happening here. We've got some solid whites happening in here. We might want a little bit more solid white. We've got a bit there. We just might want a little bit of solid white happening up through there. So you might want to come in a little bit darker in this area here and bring that solid little bit of white work 
happening up through here. Okay, so you can sort of see now I've got a little bit more white work happening in through this area here. Can you see the little bit more white? So the little bit more white is when you worked over it a lot more. Okay, so you might want to come back and work over a little bit more to get this bit, this one here. So when you're looking in here, it's this one here you might want to come up and get this one happening a little bit more as a white to start shaping in your flower. Okay, can you see now we've sort of got the shape of the flower starting to come in. You've got the, the whiter parts here and then you've got the cooler parts here. Okay, so you just got to work out your light and dark areas that you like on your flower. Okay, and it's just working it. And then once you've got it done, you're going to trim it. Now you can use the dye, but I wouldn't use the dye once you've embossed because it will flatten all your emboss. So when you put it through the machine, so use your paper snips and cut around it. It doesn't take long to cut around your flower. Okay. And then you'll be able to come back and stretch that even more and make it whiter if you want to. Um, it's quite amazing what you can do once you've got it cut out. But you do need to stretch that vellum first. So just work out which way you'd like to do it. Whether you like to do your little side, your big side, your little strokes, your big strokes, or your solid just turning, or a bit of everything. Like some my flower here, I've got a bit of variety. And it still doesn't matter, it still looks fantastic whichever way you go. Okay, so now you can sort of see that the flower is starting to really look more like a flower. Okay, so it's going to take a little bit more work on here. So I'm going to work around now in little circular motions to get this where I want it to really stand out around the edging. Okay, so we're going to come in and work this around the, right around the edges there. And you can sort of see now you can sort of see now you get that beautiful edging happening now. Okay, so work on your edging on all the sides. Okay, don't leave one either because you can always tell when you've left one for some reason. I don't know why, but you just can. So come through and do all your beautiful curving. So just keep working that vellum and stretching it out and you start getting this beautiful flower happening. Okay, so you can sort of see how it's starting to, and this is what we call white work. But remember, you can't work the tool on the front where the ink is because the ink will go gray. So on this, you definitely have to come through from the back when you use the craft white ink okay okay so you can see you've got your beautiful flower happening now okay so i'm going to leave you to practice that and then i'm going to bring this up so you can sort of see i'm going to i hope you can see that now you can get that beautiful white work happening on your flower so I'm going to leave you to practice that can you see where you got I'm going to hold it up there and see if you can see you got light and dark areas you got strokes lots of different techniques happening on this one so I'm just going to leave that there for a minute so you can have a little bit of a look 
and you can sort of see you've got your placing and your flower it looks like a flower it's not to look like a blob and you can sort of hear, see here where I haven't brought it right down to the lines. See how you've got that beautiful grey effect here? And here you've got this grey effect in here. That's because I haven't come right down to that line. I've started at the top and worked down and got lighter and lighter and lighter. My pressure. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little lesson and I'll see you in the next class. Bye for now.